What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today I got a video that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. We're gonna be checking out the $3,500 Tifu Key Colt keyboard. Now, as you can see, taking a look at it, it is a bit different than the current version that Tifu is using. That's because he was given two options during production. This one is the pink and blue splatter look, but he went with that more blended anodized look, which does look really cool, but this is literally the same board. It's the same plate, keycaps, switches, all that stuff. So I figured for this video, we'll take an in-depth look at it, go over it all, so you can see what Tifu's really rocking with. So for the keyboard itself, this is a fully commissioned Key Colt number one in the 60% layout, and it was built by bespoke keyboard maker Teha Types. If you don't know him already, you should. I'll put his channel down below. But what makes this keyboard special is there is literally nothing else like this in the world. This is a complete one-off custom build. And while I'm sure a lot of you will agree that his anodizing on his board definitely looks pretty cool, I'm actually pretty impressed with how the splatter looks in person. With the pink base and the blue paint, it just really pops and still kind of falls along with that, you know, Fortnite kind of aesthetic. After all, that's like his shtick. On the top right hand side of the keyboard, you can see it has Tifu engraved into it. And then along the back side, right above the USB-C port, is the Key Colt logo. And to some other specs about the board, we have a steel mid piece that is a really nice accent piece along the sides of it. And the plate itself is aluminum. This thing is super, super solid. It weighs just over three pounds at above 60 ounces. And also flipping it over, you can see we have this really nice mirror-like polished stainless steel, which also helps add to that weight. We'll get into the switches and a sound test in a minute, don't worry. But one thing that I personally added was this custom coiled uh, cable here. This is from Space Cables. And it's actually a custom kind of braid here that I think blends in and works perfectly with the colors and the aesthetic because it is a blue uh, tech flex around it with a pink cable, which, you know, depending on certain lighting and stuff, it can look purple. Again, just blending in perfectly with how this looks and just space cables, like they're my go-to for these custom USB-C cables. You can see the braid on this cable is super tight. You uh, pull it apart and it just snaps right back into place. It's black magic. And by the way, this is the Thor mouse pad from X-Ray Pad. I had one of these lying around. Never really fit my style in terms of how it looks, but again, paired with this, it works out pretty well. All right, now getting into the goods. For the keycaps here, they are GMK Striker, and they're from Zambumon, and they're actually a tribute to the Japanese national football team that played in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. The color is Samurai Blue, and again, it just complements the board really nicely. And then underneath, we have the switches. These are Novel Keys Creams, and they're actually lubed with Crytox 205 Grade Zero to really help with that linear feel to make them really buttery smooth. And the actual stem that the creams are made out of is a self-lubricating palm, so it'll make these linear switches even more smooth, and it just gives a really unique feel. They have a four millimeter travel distance, actuate at two millimeters, and they require 55 grams of force to actuate, and they bottom out at 70 grams. So take out types when he was building this, completely lubed all of them. And as for the actual stabilizers inside, we have genuine cherry screw-ins, which were also lubed and clipped. Now, get ready, we'll do a sound test. So if you're not already completely just melted into your seat after that sound test, I can tell you firsthand, typing on this feels incredible. Now, with these Novel Keys Cream switches, again, four millimeters, two millimeters to actuate, it's not like a speed switch or he'd be getting an advantage in Fortnite. It's about the actual feel and the quality of these Novel Keys Cream switches. And to bring it all together, you're probably wondering, how does this cost $3,500? Keith, if you're watching, that's a lot more than 680. 
But the thing is, you have to keep in mind, this is completely custom built and commissioned, especially for him. Only one of these exists in the world, in addition to his completely one-off that he has right now that he's using. A lot of it is coming with the custom CNC milling and the tooling for the actual keyboard. Not only that, but you have the PCB, the switches, the plate. All of it starts to add up. You then add in the cost of the anodizing that was done to the board. Also, not cheap. Keycaps themselves, also not cheap by any means. GMK Striker, it, you're looking at, you know, it, it builds up, it adds up over time. Not only that, but Teja Types, who gets these parts in and builds them, part of the $3,500 also comes into play there. So in the end, yeah, $3,500 is bizarre, but for someone like Tifu in his position, he could, you know, do that, no problems. And at the end of the day, when you have a board like this, so unique, so aesthetically pleasing, right, you know, fitting into his lifestyle, and just the way it feels when typing on it, it is insane. And only, again, one of these currently exists in the world. So guys, that'll wrap it up, showing you the $3,500 custom Tifu keyboard with the Key Colt number one commissioned by Teja Types. Hope you all like this video. If you wanna check it out, I'll do what I can to put some of the components and stuff and all the, the parts of this keyboard in the description down below, as well as, you know, finding out more about Key Colt, Teja Types, all that kind of stuff, but man, what a keyboard. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.